You always want to make sure that Benji is sitting before he goes into his crate. This is a little uh, training exercise. If he gets up, you say no. You make sure that he waits. No. You can do even a little, just a little, little uh, prompt like that, like you saw me just do at the same time you say N-O. And then he's supposed to wait until you pat his chest and say go. He's gonna go in, he's gonna turn around, he's gonna get a reward. Good boy. If you're taking, if he's gonna be in here for a little while, you take off his prong collar and just hang it here on the door. And uh, he's been sleeping overnight in here at my house and we've never actually done this mat, excuse me, this crate exercise out in this yard. I'm just doing it because it's a much bigger space than in my house so we can uh, show you um, more clearly exactly how to do it. So he's never done it here, and that's why he, he got up a couple of times, but usually he's absolutely perfect in the house. He knows to wait. He knows if he doesn't wait, the door closes again. So uh, he's pretty good, pretty darn good these days with this. And he wants to go in his crate because everything good happens in his crate. If I'm, if I thought that, that I didn't feed him enough during the training, I would give him kibble in the crate. He got little peanut butter, marrow bones in there, and little other chewies that he really likes. So everything good happens in the crate. Any interaction with him is always preceded by a little treat. Like if I'm gonna reach in and hook him up, I'm just gonna give him a little treat, reach in, hook him up to his collar, and then he knows to wait. You can even do this exercise where you step back, and good, give him a reward if he waits for permission to come out. If he does try to come out before you release him out, you say no, give that a little token slam like that. He knows what that means. But if he waits, then you can kind of turn so he's sort of on your left this way and pat your leg and say, okay, he'll come out. I always take this opportunity to do one of those little left turns there. Go back, close the door, because you always want this door closed so that he has to have permission to go in and come out and then you can just walk him to wherever you're walking him to. Okay, bud.